Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. I'm Sister Naomi. And I am Sister Miriam. And we'll be hosting Sabbath School Online. Let's start by greeting everyone who joined us this lovely morning. Welcome to Sabbath School, children, children. Welcome to Sabbath School, children. Welcome to Sabbath School, teachers, teachers. Welcome to Sabbath School, teachers. Welcome to Sabbath School, Jesus, Jesus. Welcome to Sabbath School, Jesus. Welcome to Sabbath School, everyone, everyone. Welcome to Sabbath School, everyone. I hope you had an amazing week with your family and friends. I know that God has been good to me this week and I praise him for it. What's your praise report for this week? Now that we've welcomed everyone, let's pray. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this blessed Sabbath day that you have been with each and every single one of us. Father God, we ask that we may be able to worship you in spirit and in truth. We ask that, Lord, as we come together as one in Christ, we ask that, Lord, that you will bless our families, bless our friends. Keep us from harm's way. We ask that you will allow us, Lord, to increase in your word and your wisdom and your truth. We ask that we may continue to be the light for others and we may speak of your good name of your death, your resurrection, and your coming. We ask that, Lord, that you bless our family and friends. Keep us underneath your watchful eye. Bless this day. Bless each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, I humbly do pray. Amen. 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 At this time, we wish all those who are celebrating this birthday this week a very happy birthday. We pray that God will continue to bless you as you grow in his grace and favor. Before we start, this would be a good time to pause the video and begin writing out this week's lesson and the memory verbs. Ready? Ready? Let's, Let's begin. begin. Hi everyone, it's Aunt Fernita. Today's story is called A Little Man with a Big Heart. The memory verse is from Luke, chapter 19, verse 8. It says, Here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. Today's message is, I show others Jesus' love when I put wrongs right. Have you ever been to a parade or ball game and not been able to see very well? Maybe your father carried you on his shoulders. If so, you will understand how Zacchaeus felt when he got stuck at the back of a crowd. Zacchaeus lived in Jericho. He had one of the biggest and best houses in town. He was a very rich man, but no one liked him. Because everyone believed that he cheated people and kept their money. Everyone knew about it, but no one could do anything. Zacchaeus was the chief tax collector for the Romans. The Romans didn't care what he did as long as he gave them the right tax money. So Zacchaeus probably told people that their taxes had gone up. He collected more than he should, and he kept the extra money for himself. One day, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming to Jericho. He had heard a lot about Jesus. He had heard how Jesus had healed the sick, the lame, and the blind. And some said that he had raised someone from the dead. All these things made Jesus special and made Zacchaeus want to meet him. Zacchaeus had heard about the tax collector Levi Matthew. Matthew had left everything to become one of Jesus' closest followers. People talked about it everywhere. Zacchaeus wondered, maybe Jesus has something to say to me. Yes, it was the talk of the town. Jesus was really coming to Jericho. Zacchaeus decided to try to catch a glimpse of the master. He left his tax station and went out into the street. The street was so crowded and the crowds were getting thicker. It was hopeless. 
Zacchaeus tried jumping up to see over their heads, but that was useless. He was so short and no one would let him through. But he was determined. He would not give up. He must see Jesus. Zacchaeus looked up and down the street. He saw a big tree. Climbing trees was not the sort of thing grown men did, but there was no other way he could see Jesus. So up he climbed. He sat on a big branch and looked down the road. Jesus was coming his way. When Jesus reached the tree, he stopped and looked up. He saw Zacchaeus and smiled. Everyone in the crowd stopped too. They looked up and saw Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, come down. I'm going to your house today, Jesus said so everyone could hear. Zacchaeus could hardly believe his ears. Jesus going to his house? He climbed down the tree and led the way. The crowd moved aside, but people began to mutter. How can Jesus be the guest of a sinner? They wondered out loud. Zacchaeus said, Lord, I will give half of everything I own to the poor. If I have cheated anyone, I will give them back four times as much. Jesus looked at Zacchaeus. Then he looked at the people who were muttering and criticizing him. Jesus said, Today, salvation has come to this house. This is the reason the Son of Man came, to seek and save the lost. Before Zacchaeus saw Jesus, he had begun to show that he was sorry for cheating people. Now he confessed this before the crowd. He showed that loving Jesus helped him to make things right. Jesus can help you make things right, too. Created and produced by Falvo Fowler. This podcast is read by Franita Buddy Fullwood for gracelink.net. Animation and artwork by Giogo Godoy. Audio is post-produced by Faith Toe at Studio El Piso in Singapore. The theme music is by Clayton Kinney. The audio engineer was Maurice Bailey. Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope that you enjoyed today's story, A Little Man with a Big Heart. Our story can be found in Luke 19, verse 1 through 10. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anyone out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and save the lost. Today's memory verse is Luke 19, verse 8. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anyone out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. In today's story, we learned about Zacchaeus. The story highlights that when we acknowledge our mistakes and put them right, we are showing Jesus' love. It reminds us that Jesus' love bids us to forgive others when they wrong us. In correlation with today's story, we are reminded about communion. God loves us so much that he sent his only beloved son to die on the cross that we might live, not on earth, but in heaven with God. We resent We represent Jesus' spilled blood and broken body by breaking the bed and drinking the wine. We call this communion. Do you remember what the bread represents? The bread represents Jesus' body that was broken for us, that we might be healed. Do you remember what the wine represents? 
The wine represents the blood of Jesus that was spilled for us that we might be saved from sin. Jesus' sacrifice is the greatest gift of love God could give us, and we should thank God for that every day. Parents, please take the time to help answer the following questions with your children. Question one, why did people not like Zacchaeus? Question two, why couldn't Zacchaeus see Jesus? Question three, why did Jesus stop and talk to Zacchaeus? Question four, how do you think Zacchaeus felt when Jesus stopped and talked to him? Question five, how do you think Zacchaeus felt when Jesus said that he was going to his house? Question six, was it necessary for Zacchaeus to give half of his money to the poor to repay everyone he had cheated? Why or why not? Question seven, Zacchaeus learned that he needed to put things right. When do you need to make things right? Immediately? Later? Why? In summary, being a community means loving and forgiving one another, just like Jesus loves and forgives us. Jesus gives us a new heart when we follow him so that we may love, forgive, and do the right thing. Do you want Jesus to give you a new clean heart? When we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we can ask Jesus to purify us from sin and give us a new heart that lives for him. If you want to ask Jesus for a clean heart, bow your heads and close your eyes and pray with us. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you have blessed us with. We thank you for keeping us and watching over us as we've gone through this day and through this week. Lord, as we start a new week, we ask that you just continue to be with us and continue to follow us and have your Holy Spirit guide us and lead us. Lord, we ask for a clean and new heart, a heart that lives for you. Lord, we just thank you for your sacrifice, the greatest gifts of love you could have possibly given us, that we might live again in you and for you and one day meet you in heaven. Lord, we just say thank you for all that you continue to do for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us today in Sabbath School Online. Like Bob and Larry always says, God made you special and he loves you very much. Shalom. Shalom.